In this video, we will learn how to install site-minded policy server. Uh, we need to make sure that uh, these prerequisites are met. Select the folder where JRE or higher is installed. Choose the JRE folder under JDK path. So JRE inside JDK. Try program files, Java, not this JRE, inside JDK, this JRE. Okay. Choose the JRE folder under JDK path. So JRE, JRE under JDK. Leave it, is, uh, leave it for FIPS compatibility mode. It's so a choice of your key. Uh, so here we are going to select policy store, the one we created in previous video. And we don't, we are not going to select a web server, SNMP, or one view monitor because web server we have not yet installed. Uh, and this is going to install on JBoss right now. So once we've installed our web server, we can come back and configure it for a web server to run our FSS UI services. So right now, okay, I'll select and move ahead. We, we probably we might get an error, but we'll pass that error. Yeah, it says web server does not exist on this is on this system to configure web server, install the web server and the and run the configuration wizard. That's fine. Click on OK and going to select Oracle directory server. You cannot be empty yeah cannot be empty so yeah so the policy server details where uh, which we have created in our previous video so local host and the port number is we created on the port one 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 we created dc is equal to sm and dc is equal to com Yeah, and the password which we created during that time. We are not going to use a different LDAP server user, so we are going to use the same. Okay, we are going to initialize the instance. We are not going to import any such. Next. And for the SiteMinder super user account, we need to create the password. Okay, I select basic password services. That's fine. Install. So it might take uh, sometimes quite decent time. So be patient till the installation is completed.
policy server is installed. Okay. We go for a restart. So the system is back up after restart. So quickly see, I can see the site minder test tool is also installed. So we installed the policy server and rebooted the box. Now uh, we will manually start stop the policy server and check logs. Okay, so we'll start the policy store. By now it should have been uh, restarted because we have configured it as a Windows service. I'll check, but however. Yeah, it is already running. Okay, now we try to start stop the policy server. Okay, net start SM policy SRV has on uh, the requested service has already been started. Okay, uh, let me stop it and start it. Site manager policy server was stopped successfully. We'd like to check the logs as well. SMPS logs. Same policy server. Shutting down, stopped, yeah. Stopped. I'll see what it is in SM access. So SM access is nothing because we didn't browse the policy server and we did nothing, yeah. Okay, now I will start the policy server. The policy server service was started successfully. Now I'll check, not this one, SMPS log, yeah. Initialized some policy server TCP is listening is is ready. Site manager policy server is ready and server 2008. Okay, uh, so by this we uh, we end this video for policy server installation. In the next video we will see how to install admin UI which runs on JBoss and we will see fss ui which runs an apache thank you